Hey everybody! Welcome back to our Kindred Arts art tutorials. Um, it's our last day with our watercolor painting. Mama, we were um, working with our watercolor warrior who I, I don't have on hand at the moment. Um, today we're actually not using strictly watercolor paints. Um, we are going to be using hat. some food coloring mm -hmm. and some temper paint. Uh -huh. You can use watercolor paint for this project. And we are going to be creating <laughs> bubble painting. This is so fun. The texture is awesome. And you get to blow bubbles to make your painting today. So what you need is some paper. It doesn't really matter what kinds. We're going to use regular computer paper and um, we're going to try some cardstock. We're kind of experimenting as we go today. We have six bowls in front of us um, and we're putting different colors in each bowl. We have lots and lots of towels out because this is definitely a messier project. We have blue, pinky, yellow, green, and purple. And we're going to make what? And, and we're going to make red so it. we can show you how we exactly. did Exactly. Um, so we have our bowls, so we have our cloths, we need straws. We have bamboo straws that we're using today. Oh, let's not open that yet because we're not quite ready. Keep that cap on there. Oops. Okay, leave that cap on, please. So okay. we're ready for it. Thanks. Um, we have a spoon for mixing. Uh, we have a little bit of water. I would say a half a cup of water in each of our bowls. Just to, enough to fill the bottom. Mama. We have dish soap. And so what we experimented with in terms of colors were tempera paints. Oh, yeah, and then two different kinds of food coloring. We have like regular Mommy, food coloring. And we have some gel food coloring. Mommy, you're all done. You don't have to do it with us. Um, the one that we found that worked the best was actually regular food coloring. We used about 10 drops, so that's what Mommy. we're going to do right now. So we have a bowl partially filled with water. You can see right there. It doesn't really matter what the temperature of the water is. All right, Kellen, now we're ready. I'm going to slide this towards you, and you can drop Ow. 8 to 10 drops of food coloring. Ow. Ow. Honey, do you need some help with that? Ow. Excuse me. Mama. Yes, Quinn. I need help me. All right, lift your hands up, love. Okay. Mommy. Luckily, it's food coloring. It's food grade, so we're all good. Mama. Right? We can clean up as we go. I am speaking to your sister, and we're doing a video, so you need to wait a minute. Mommy, I need help me. Would you like some help getting your apron off? Okay. Are you going to go play while we do this? All right, cow has got 10 drops of food coloring in there. A bunch of food coloring. Lots of food coloring, it's really, really red. Now we need our dish soap. Can you do two good squirts? Two generous squirts of dish soap. One, two. There we go. And we're gonna give it a little stir, really gentle. It'll get stirred up enough on its own with the, when you make it the bubbles. We need more bubbles. Once we start blowing bubbles in it, they'll actually pop right up. It's pretty cool. All right, I'm going to grab the spoon. We're all good with that. Do you have your straw? Here. So we each are going to choose a color. I'll leave them, leave them all in the middle. So, Kelly, you pick a color. I'm going to start with yellow. We're going to keep pieces of paper handy next to us. So whatever color we choose, pull it towards you, okay? And we're gonna stick our straw into the bubbles, or into the, the liquid, the colored liquid, Whoa. and blow. Ooh, okay. You do not want to suck in, it will taste like soap. Gross, not gonna hurt you, but you don't want to taste that. And you're gonna blow until you have a good amount. I'm gonna pull Where's this up closer paper? so you can see. Right there, Cal. A good amount of bubbles. Cal has got some good bubbles on her bowl too, cool. All right, and now we're going to take our paper. The bubbles actually stay for quite a while. And we're going to put our paper Hello. on top of the bowl. That's my paper. And when you lift it up, Mama, you'll has see your my bubble paper. print. I will get you a new piece of paper. Okay, I'm going to do a different color now. So the yellow that I just did was... Um, with regular food coloring. You can do blue now. Cal is doing the blue, which is temper paints. 
and I'm going to do the dark purple, which is our gel. I want color. this purple. Well, you took your hair out and you took off your apron, so you would need to put those back on to join us. There's some bubbles, so fun. Now I'm gonna take my paper, same paper or different paper, and I'm gonna put it down right on top of my bowl. I don't wanna dunk it into the water, just take a print of the bubbles. That's so cool. And actually the gel food coloring worked pretty well now that it's had a chance to kind of settle in the bowl when we first poured it, it didn't work as well. You know what? Another time we'll experiment with it, but not right now on the video. All right, I overlapped. Yellow, purple, and green. I think I'm gonna do two more colors. I'll do the blue, which is the temper paint. This is actually a great activity to do outside. I want mama. Mm, the blue didn't show quite as well. Mama! I would say if you do temper paint, you need at mommy. least a teaspoon. Yes, Quinn. I want to my eggs. So you can see the blue just a little bit. Um, this is, like I was saying, a great project to do outside. We chose not to today mommy. because it's pretty windy and uh, we didn't really want to risk things. Mommy. Going. Mommy. What can I help you with? You want the apron and your hair back up? Okay. Yeah. Um, we are going to say goodbye to our friends. So, two announcements. If you have been watching our videos every day, um, we are going to do one more week of our Super Art Supply of the Week. And next week, I am going to tell you that it is going to involve Play-Doh. So, I will be posting. Oh, uh, we're going to do, like, we're going to do, uh, we're going to do an outside one, like, Acorn Magic, or we're going to do a clay one next Cal week. Cal has some fun ideas. So, um, I will share our favorite Play-Doh recipe Mommy, no! on my Facebook page. Wait a moment, please. And um, after no. that, we'll, we'll start up with some units no. that we're pretty excited about. So, we'll continue doing our art videos. They will continue okay. to be on YouTube. Um, but it's going to be just set up a little bit differently. And we hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy your bubble printing. I would love to see the final results. And you can use this paper for all sorts of things when it's dry. You can cut it up and collage with it. You can use it as stationery to write letters or cards. Mama! So many fun things. Mama! Uh, all right, have a great weekend, Mama! everybody. And um, thanks for watching. Say bye, guys. Bye. And like and subscribe right below. Thanks, guys. Bye.